visionary playwright, black feminist, and fighter for racial justice. And Tazaki Shange, born October 18, 1948, was known to be a fierce advocate and glowing spirit, who we remember at The Real News Network by sharing one of her final interviews before her passing at the age of 70 on October 27, 2018. With me today, I'm so honored. Oh, that's fine. Uh, you, I am a big fan of your work. You are going to do a poem today. Will you tell us a little bit about the poem you're doing? No. I can't because I don't know what the poem is. Okay. <clears throat> but um, I can say it had a lot to do with nostalgia and being raised around Latino people and being familiar with the islands and feeling a, a blood tinge for the diaspora. Why do you think it's important for us to come together and celebrate black women from across the diaspora? Because for all I know, my, my, my bone marrow match might be in Brazil or in Honduras. We don't know where we, where, who our cousins are because my relatives might have been sold to Cartagena or something. And so I feel like there's family. And I spent my life trying to get to all the places in the Western Hemisphere where there were slaves, because there was no place in the Western Hemisphere where there weren't slaves. And so I want to go and find us. And I, I found out that if I go somewhere, if I dance, I can, if I can dance with them, they take to me and they accept me. And I can dance with them and we become one. And I become part of the family of, of everywhere. And so it makes me feel like we're not lost. Muhammad, Elijah and Muhammad used to say we were the lost people, we were the lost found people. But I find the people not through Islam or black Muslims. I find the people through dance and music. And sometimes if I'm fortunate, I find them through language and literature. But I know I can find us if I dance. Uh, you spoke about uh, being able to go anywhere and dance and that that would be a way for people to accept you. Will you talk about how the arts more broadly um, is a tool for bringing people together who may seem different but are very much alike? Well, art, hopefully what art does is it, it gets to the basicness of being human. And so when you deal with tears or laughter or joy or the aroma of food, um, or the, the memory of a mother. When you deal with basic things like that, you can reach anybody. And if we do that with our work, then we're reaching everybody. Uh, I interviewed a group of girls who are going to the Dominican Republic, middle school girls. Why do you think it's important for young women in particular to explore the world and see women like them in other communities and in other countries? It's important because our girls think their world is limited to their block and their, the world is limited to English speakers or it's limited to people who are one color. And that's not true. The world is much bigger than that. And the more we can offer our girls in terms of experiences that are not there, that are not familiar to them, the broader and more capable as adults they'll be. So thank you, Mama Shange. That was painless. Absolutely painless. <laughs> so we will interview you another time, and I'll, I look forward to it. Okay, in Baltimore. In Baltimore. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome.